Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In today's session, I am going to speak about the parameter files in Oracle. When we are starting the Oracle database, it is always going with three phase. The first one is a no mount. Let me type here Oracle start. So initially, initially it will go with the no mount, then it will go to the mount stage and at last it will open the database. When the database is starting with the no mount stage, it will always search for the parameter file. So this is what we are going to discuss about what is parameter file, what are all the parameters files we have in the Oracle database, what is the use of parameter file. Oracle database is coming with the two parameter files. The first one we called it as a P file and second one we called it as a SP file. Now the question is why we have p file and sp file, why we don't have the only p file. p file is a human readable because when we are starting the database and we, I want to do some kind of the changes manually then we can do it p file. Now I want to make some changes by using the SQL query like alta system or alta session by using the SQL query then you can do it by using the sp file now the thing is sp file is in the binary format when we are starting the database by default oracle will try to find out the sp file if the sp file is not available then it will go for the p file right so what p file and sp file contain both are the same thing only the difference is p file is a human readable and sp file is a binary format but oracle recommend to use the sp file always as i said earlier if the sp file is not available then it will try to search for the p file what this p file and sp file contain p file and sp file we called it as a as a combination we call it as a parameter file which contain the information about the database information like what is the database name what is the instance name what is the location of control file we are always talking about the memory structure like sj this information like memory parameters character set like NL nls character set we are using the languages all this information will be recorded to the p parameter files so let me go in a practical way i have this 12c database with me okay i'm checking the database status Okay, here you can see the database name is ncdp and currently it is up and running. Now I want to check whether it is using the parameter file like p file it is using or sp file. How I can check it show parameter sp file. So if you are getting any result with the sp file it means to say it is using the sp file. You will also get the location of the sp file where it is e app oracle product this is a version so basically if i'm telling you on a top level most you will find the sp file location as your oracle home if you are using the windows platform then you will find it as oracle home slash database and then the path of then the file name sp file name like this is my oracle home and then database but 
if you are using the unix platform or linux platform then you will get the location of psp file will be oracle home slash dbs you will not find the database directory over there you will find the dbs so what we are going to do we are going to go check whether physically it is there or not e app oracle product let's go there e app oracle product db home and atlas database ncdb right my day see this is the sp file and the extension you will find it as a dot over file okay now if i am checking like show parameter db underscore name okay here is some typo i am getting the database name as a ncdb from where this value is coming this value whatever the output i am getting here that is coming from the parameter file what you are using currently if it is p file you are using then you will get the output from p file if you are using the sp file then you will get this output from the sp file whatever the parameters you are mentioning here show parameter sga these values are also coming from the parameter file okay so the thing which you need to remember is p file is a human readable file and sp file is a binary format when we are starting the database it is always recommend to use the sp file you can also create the p file from sp file and sp file to p file that i'm going to discuss in a, another video how to create it along with the scope as well uh if you are talking about the backup we can take the backup rman backup of sp file but we cannot take the backup of p file that again one thing which you need to you need to understand you need to remember okay so if you have any queries you can write mail to me thank you so much see you with the next video bye bye